Hey guys, it's Alam. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys some more recent changes that I've made to the far lands in my Minecraft creative map. So let's start with the farther lands in the northwest quadrant that you can see here. So, in, so I changed my plan for the northwestern corner and cor and far lands region. Instead of having it be based around caves and cliffs, I will actually have it be based around what I saw in my map in the beta 1.202 64-bit mod. Like you can see here, I have the diagonal pattern with the high layer and the Z side and the, and the very low layer that you guys saw in, those, in my investigation in the beta 1.202 64-bit mod over here. Now, let's head to the bottom here, and let's, and let's bring out our cobblestone and our cobblestone slabs to, so we can build some, and stairs, so we can build like some rocks that fell off from the diagonal part, part, artifacts in the top layer there. Let's head over here, let's go bam, 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 bam. There. There. Now let's bring out our stone buttons. There. I actually will recreate some of the minor changes in the Farberlands terrain as well. We got here, and, and but this but overall, this will this terrain here will just shoot out all the way to where I will build the fringe lands over here. And you can see here I recreated the diagonal pattern that I showed in my last video on the mod, and here is some of the regular corner of Farberland. I also built some of the surprisingly normal structure down below. And while we're at it, let's also build a water lake for that little there. Just to liven this area up a little bit more. Alright, let's bring out our bone meal and let's add some. And add some flowers there. Wow, there two, wow, I always have two whip patches in the far lands, but not in the radio map. There. There. I might also add a forest biome over here, and as you can see, I, as you can see, I have a snow biome over there. Now let's head over to 3900. So you can see, in a moment this will load up, and you'll see the corner farlands that farlands in the map as before. I will actually change this area over here to also be based on beta 1.7.3, so it's not as it won't be as repetitive like this anymore. That I will transfer this area over in an angular schematic to the west, to the west, to the western farlands in the south near the southwest corner, near the or where I where where the entire southwest farlands region will be based off of the 64-bit mod in 1.2.5. I will keep the caves and cliffs farlands and the edge variation as a biome-like patch. All right, so now, if you've watched my previous videos, you may recognize that this this area of the edge farlands in my map was previously around Z zero, and it actually still is. I just haven't I haven't removed it yet, but now I moved it all the way near the corner. I actually made a two schematics of it in Amulet. They, by the way, they, they really need to fix the lighting glitches. And I exported both commands and, and imported them over here. So I will actually, so I will actually move all the farlands material, all most of the isolated farlands material, near to, near to the corner areas like that. So we will have uh, the. So we will, So the new plan is I will build farlands within 1,000 blocks of the 3,930 block corner, and of course beyond the, and the, the mark on both axes. So, the new, and, and I will, so, and I will also have the far lands in each quadrant be based off of one type of terrain, like here, like in the positive X and positive Z, we based on beta 1.7.3. In the north northwest is basically the same thing, except it's based on the spawn that I had in the beta 1.202 64-bit mod. You can even see the Farlands Village that I built, that I showed in a video 
about six about six months on my channel about six and a half months ago. There's the mushroom I want. So, yeah, guys, that's about all I've got for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell, and click on all for all notifications. And goodbye.